Today's topic is a topology disturbing object. Topology represents the way of connection between figures, and topology disturbing object means an object whose appearances change in the mirror in such a way that the topology or way of connection changes uh, that should not be disturbed in real life. So it's kind of optical illusion. Here is an example. See this object. It consists of two vertical circular cylinders uh, which are separated from each other in a direct view. But in the mirror uh, reflected in the vertical mirror, uh, the two cylinders are cylinders themselves, but their way of connection changes in the sense that they are intersecting instead of separating. This is a typical example of topology disturbing object. The true shape can be understood when we rotate it like that. The two objects are not circular cylinders, but some funny structures, and they are not connected, they are separated. But from a special viewpoint, they look like intersecting in this way. And when we rotate it by 180 degrees, the two appearances changes <coughs> like that. So let me show how we can construct this kind of object. Our goal is that when we see it from one direction, we want to see two separated circles, but from other directions, we want to see of two intersecting circles. And to attain this purpose, we first decompose the intersecting circle figures into two parts which are touching but are not intersecting from each other. Uh, <coughs> I have a small gap here. This is just to, because we want to <coughs> represent how the objects are decomposed. So please assume that these two vertices are <coughs> touching. And we apply the ambiguous cylinder construction method to the upper pair of figures and to the lower pair of figures. And so we get two ambiguous cylinders. One is the <coughs> appearance is like that from one direction and like that from the other direction. And another ambiguous cylinder is um, from this and this. And finally, we connect these two um, elements into one, but uh, from one view directions, we want to see them as being separated, but from the other, they are touching. To attain this, we adjust the height of the two objects. Um, suppose that we want to see that uh, these two points look like touching, and so uh, we align these vertices on the same line parallel to the second view directions. In this way, we can construct this object so we can see that the, these two parts are um, connected in different height. And so this point and this point looks like touching from the second view directions, like that. This is a way of constructing the topology disturbing object. Let me show one more example. Here, in the direct view, we have a um, rectangular cylinder and a separated vertical wall, but in the mirror, the wall penetrate the um, cylinder. And the actual shape is like that. They are not mm, touching. And the method to construct it is all the same. Suppose that we want to have two figures separated each other in one direction and intersecting in the other. So we decompose these figures into non-intersecting but touching two parts and apply the 
ambiguous cylinder construction method to the upper pair of figures and the lower pair of figures and connect them by to, uh, adjusting the heights. So we get this kind of object. The same method can be applied for circular cylinders and wall, like that. And actual shape it's like that. And <coughs> we can combine cylinder and wall all together. So the two cylinders are separated by a wall in a direct view, but all the three elements are intersecting in the <coughs> mirror. This is a two separated rectangular cylinders intersecting in the mirror and another one is here we have three cylinders in the direct view two of them are separated from the wall but in the mirror they are intersected they are penetrated by the wall and the central cylinders which are separated by the wall in the direct view are separated in the mirror until now, I have shown that the uh, <coughs> ambiguous uh, no, topology disturbing object in which the shape of each element object does not change, but the wave connection only changes. But uh, we can uh, use the same technique so that the appearance and wave connections uh, change, both changes. For example, in this case, the one circle is changed to two circles in the mirror, and this one is one circle is changed to the three circles in the mirror. In this way, the, the size of the circle changes and the way of connection changes. Another example. Here, I, in the direct view, we have uh, two um, figures, leaf sh uh, shape figures intersecting each other, but in the middle they are uh, called centric circles. If we rotate this shape, by 45 degrees, then we get this shape, but in the mirror, the appearance is very different. The third one is, the direct view is the same, but in the mirror, it changed to four circles. Here we have some other examples. The direct view, the three circle, uh, circular cylinders are uh, intersecting in a horizontal directions, but in the mirror, the shape changed like that. The same appearance of the <laughs> object changes in the mirror differently, like that. All the three have the same direct view appearances, but in the mirror, they are all different from each other. And also we have similar appearance object, but in the mirror, say, uh, different drastically. Circular object becomes rectangular object, and their way of connection also changes. The more drastic change can be made like that. In the direct view, it looks like a honeycomb structure, but in the mirror, it changed to a very different shape. The number of elements changes, the way of connection also changes. So this is the topology disturbing object. Finally, let me give a quiz. For example, 
let me show this example. In this example, the three intersecting circles changes to three concentric circles. And we apply the <coughs> um, topology disturbing object construction method to this object. And please consider how we can decompose this dialect appearances into three pieces um, in such a way that they can be um, have one-to-one -one correspondence to the three concentric circles. That's a quiz. Thank you very much.